Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. So over on Instagram, I asked you guys, what are some video ideas that you guys have because I was running out of ideas and I got a whole bunch of messages. So I'm super excited to be filming this today. This video is something that I wanted to do for a long time. Advice that I would tell my younger self. As we all know, I can't go back in time and tell myself these things but with the amazing thing called YouTube, I'm able to tell you guys this advice and hopefully be able to help somebody. Something I wish I could have told myself was not to compare myself to others, not to compare my journey to others, not to compare my looks to others or certain gifts or talents I have compared to others. This is something really weird to some people, but when I was younger, I wish that I was shy. I wished that I was really reserved and quiet and shy. I don't know why, I just always wished I was like that, but I'm not. I'm more outgoing, I'm more talkative, and I wish that I wasn't like that. But I see now that God instilled that in me for a reason because he knew that I would be working with people. So if I was shy and more quiet, maybe I wasn't able to do as much as I could if I was more talkative and more outgoing. So God knew these things, that's why God instilled them in me. Don't compare your looks to other people. As girls, we all have insecurities. There's certain things about us that we don't like and we wish looked different. But I see now that those are the things that my husband admires and loves about me, things that I used to hate and were my insecurities. So God knows why he gave you those things or God knows why he made you the way he made you. When God made the world and everything in it, man, everything, he looked at the world and he said that it is good. So when God looks at me and you, he says, it is good, we are good, the way we look is good. So why change that? Why come compare your looks to somebody else's. You are made the way you are made for a reason, for a purpose. Don't compare your journey to somebody else's journey. Don't compare your life to somebody else's life. If God is allowing you to go through certain things, it's for a purpose. Maybe that thing that you're going through is able to help somebody else in the long run. Something that I'm happy that I did years ago was sewing in prayer. And I encourage you guys to sew in prayer. Pray for your future husband, pray for your future children, pray for your future home, for, for your future career. Pray for these things so in prayer. There are certain things now that I'm reaping from prayers that I've prayed years ago. When I prayed for my future husband, I prayed specific things. I see that God listened to those prayers and what I see in Brian are those things that I prayed about years ago. Find God's calling for your life. God's calling on my life could be different from God's calling on somebody else's life. So I can't compare my journey. I can't compare the things that I'm going through or that I went through to somebody else because our calling in life are two separate things. Once you find God's calling for your life, prepare for that. Prepare for whatever it is that you feel that God is going to take you through or whatever you feel that God is calling you to do. Prepare for it. Pray. Read the word. Start with what you can do for God today. And stay focused on whatever God's calling for your life is. We get distracted so easily. We get distracted by social media, by TV, by shows, by our friends. So some practical tips to stay focused is to set a certain time in the day apart for God. It can be in the morning before you go to school or before you go to work, or it can be at night, or it can be during the day. Set 30 minutes, set an hour aside, put your phone on silent, Get yourself alone, get yourself in your prayer closet, wherever you can be closed off from people and just get focused, refocus on what God wants to do, what God is doing in your life, the calling that God has for your life. As someone commented on one of my videos, it may not be a missionary. God's calling on your life may not be a missionary. God's calling on your life maybe to be a doctor, to be a nurse, to help somebody. And that's good and that's awesome. And God wants to refocus you on that goal. So in prayer, so in the word of God, that is where we receive our strength. That is where we receive our spiritual food is in that presence of God. So we set aside our worries and set aside everything and we say, God, I'm setting aside all my distractions because I want to be in your presence. I want to feel you. I want to know you. I want to know you deeper. And when you get to know Christ deeper, it's not like drink water and then after five years of drinking water you say okay i'm done drinking water i drank it for five years and i'm done no reading the word of god is the more you read it the more you realize you need god more the more you read it the more you fall in love with god the more you fall in love with who he is and what he intended for us to be when things get hard don't lose focus but stay focused on god's task and on god's calling for your life something i wish i would have told myself when i was younger 
is don't throw your pearls into the swine. Don't throw away your treasures to somebody that doesn't deserve it. And I'm sure you girls know what I'm talking about. Don't throw yourself to somebody that's not godly, to a man that doesn't love you, the man that doesn't respect you. Don't throw your pearls into the swine because you'll be heartbroken, you'll be disappointed, and you'll be wishing that you never did it. The man that God has for you, ladies, is going to be a man that respects you, that loves you, that honors you, not somebody that is going to ask things of you that you know aren't correct, but you're gonna do them anyway because you think that's love. The most important thing that I wish I would have told myself was don't worry. So if you're watching this, don't worry about anything. God has you in his hands. The Bible says that nothing can depart us from God's love. I used to worry about if I were ever to get married and if I were to get married to who would I get married and where would I live and if we would have children and when we have children, if they're going to be blonde, if they're going to have curly hair, if they're going to be straight haired, if they're going to uh, be white, if they're going to be tan. I used to worry about all these things, but in reality, what does it matter? These things don't matter. Don't worry yourself. Us as girls, we worry ourselves to death. If this is going to happen and what it does, what if this happens and what if this happens? God has everything in his hands. God is in control of everything. God loves you. God chose you. God chose you as his child. He knows you by name. He knows how many hairs we have on our head. That's how much he loves and that's how much he cares for us. He says that we are wonderfully made, that he made us with a purpose. Remember that. Don't worry. Don't worry about what's to come. If things happen in your life, God will give you the grace and the strength to go through those things. But he loves you and he knows what's best for you. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure to subscribe to see new videos from me every week. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that it helped somebody or that it encouraged somebody. I will see you guys in my next video.